Indiana Gents Falling offers a contemporary look at the challenges and joys of raising a child with autism. We're downtown at the Minetta Lane Theater to get the inside track at this uneasy family drama. If you had to sum up the plot of this play for someone who might not know in a sentence or two, what would you say? Uh, hmm. Well, uh, I would say our, our play right Deanna always says that it's a play about loving someone who's difficult to love. It has autism in it, but it's not solely about autism. It's really about relationships and challenges in relationships and things that we all go through in our lives. I have a son with autism. I have, uh, I have older children um, and I began writing about uh, the what a family goes through when they have uh, uh, anyone in the family who needs special attention but really how the family suddenly becomes to begins to revolve around the person with need and what that does to relationships and the, the kind of the struggles of the family. Daniel what was your gut reaction when you read this play? Uh, when I first read it was before it was during the audition process and I just remember being so taken aback by the realism of the show uh, the dialogue, the conversational aspect, and I remember thinking how I went on the journey with the play and how quickly the play makes you feel the kind of relief that you do at the time and then immediately snaps you back to the reality. So that kind of juxtaposition of real realism and fantasy, I just loved. Why do you think this is such an important story to tell and to get out there? I think that, that there are a lot of things that happen in homes sort of behind closed doors that, that people don't don't know how to talk about. Everyone in the family, there's a mother, father, two children, and a grandmother, and everyone is so um, e evenly represented in their very conflicted feelings, and there are a lot of different angles and um, hypotheses, if you will, as to what might help, and everyone's right. It's like you're living, kind of looking in the window of that house, or else you've been invited into that house. And it's so close, you know, that's what theater, live theater does, that nothing else really can. And it's impossible, I think, to divorce yourself from what's going on. You have to engage. I mean, this play insists that you engage. And that's what the audience is doing. What is the most memorable uh, audience reaction or story that you've received after someone has seen the show? Um, well, I would say the loveliest compliment is always when someone says I either I have a child who is autistic I work with autism I am an educator I work in the medical profession and what you are presenting on stage is true just this last weekend we had a, a boy come in with severe autism and he asked a question and was just wanted to thank all of us and that was just out of this world and there have been a lot of cases like that that are just incredibly humbling we had a, a gentleman in the audience one night and he said that we had shown 20 years of his life in 75 minutes. But if we can honor the audiences and give them the show and keep them talking and have them tell their friends and things like that, then I have done my honor to the autistic community, I guess you could say.